What is up YouTube? Bunny Foams here with a brand new video and today we are interviewing the head developer of Farming and Friends and the owner of Dun Games G Dun 2. Hey, thanks for having me, bud. Yeah, I'm glad to have you. So in this interview, the developer will be speaking about the game, including upcoming revamps and additions. If you do have any questions for the developer, leave them in the comment section because there might be a Q&A similar to this video in the future. Without further ado, let's begin. So to start things off, what is your goal with Farming and Friends? Whenever I think about Farming and Friends, I really want it to be like just a very uh, variety filled game, I guess you could say. I'd like you to be able to do whatever you want. And that kind of includes like, you know, fishing, um, lumber, which we want to improve, uh, bees, um, more animals and all kinds of stuff. But That's awesome. And I know you wanted to say some stuff to the audience, so I'll go ahead and let you say that. As many of our players have noticed, we haven't added much new content lately. Uh, I wanted to take a second to explain why. Over the last six months, we kind of shifted our focus to revamping the game as opposed to adding a bunch of content and features. Uh, we gained a lot of experience uh, since we first started building Farm and Friends in 2018. Uh, over the years, the game has become uh, more complex. Um, we've even changed visions and we've grown a lot. So uh, it's become clear to us that the systems that we've been using since the beginning are no longer suitable for the game. For too long now, we've prioritized content and feature updates over taking time to revamp the game. Uh, while, I, while I won't get technical, um, our current codebase has a, a lot of problems. It's not the easiest work to work with. It makes it hard to update the game and even bring on new team members. Uh, revamping is going to allow us to bring a much cleaner and user-friendly experience. It's also going to help us uh, reduce a lot of bugs that you see in the game currently. And then once that's done, we're probably going to get back to expanding the game and adding tons of features that fans have been requesting for a long time. The last few updates that we have seen in Farming and Friends, have those mainly just been redoing the code base, especially with the new animal update? The animal revamp was the first one where we really ripped out everything to do with the animals and completely rethought how we want to do things. It's going to be the first of a couple. What do you envision will be the next major chunk of the game that will have the code essentially redone? So right now we're working on user interface and all of our interactions code. Everything to do with opening doors, um, entering vehicles, carrying seed boxes, um, all of those things are getting uh, revamped completely along with the visuals of our, our menus and everything. So when these revamps are completed, are they going to be released in one significant update to the game or are there just going to be smaller incremental updates? They're going to be released in four updates and I think that will really have us in a much better position. Thank you for answering all of that. I'll go ahead and let you continue. Yeah, so currently we have uh, revamps separated into four updates. Uh, we completely scrapped and redid our animal system a few months ago. Uh, it's not perfect, uh, but the back end is much cleaner and easier to fix and tweak things. Uh, we used to have a really hard time fixing things when it came to animals. Now we're going to be uh, we're going to have a much easier go at it. We think it was definitely a step in the right direction, and uh, we're committed to making it better. Right now we're working on new inter user interfaces. Um, I see your screenshots of those. Um, all of our menus will look much cleaner and be more user friendly. Uh, oftentimes in the past, we would rush into menus just to get the needed features out. Uh, for example, our current menu for depositing crops into factories and silos is quite confusing and ultimately not our password. Uh, if you've seen it, it kind of looks like a calculator. But uh, as you can see from the provided screenshot, uh, we'll be completely replacing this uh, with a much more intuitive slider system that will have a have very easy controls on multiple devices. This is one of the many improvements that we're going to be working on in this update. Um, and like I said, you can see it in the image there. It's going to be much easier to adjust the crops and you, that you want and everything. The next update that we're going to work on is completely a uh, new, new player experience. So uh, we're not happy with how players are introduced to the game right now. Uh, we feel the first hours of the game need a lot of attention. Uh, we're going to try to make the game easy to understand while also increasing the amount of game that we introduce to the new user. Uh, we do a terrible job of explaining the power of building and animals to the users. Uh, we'll release more information on this in the future. We do feel that it will be crucial to uh, help the game grow. Uh, in turn, we will be able to hire more team members and expand the game more than ever. Our final plan revamp is probably the most exciting. Uh, as you can see in the pictures I sent, uh, we're completely upgrading the way the game looks. We've been working on new crops, trees, animals, vehicles, and a smooth terrain map. I want to be clear, the screenshot is not in game, but the scene is an accurate depiction of what the game will look like. Uh, along with the visual upgrades, we 
we will be uh, making some serious performance improvements. All of our new models will be much less intensive. Do you plan on just sticking with the current animals in the game, or are you going to be introducing more animals within this revamp? Um, so we will not be introducing any new animals in the revamp, just upgraded visuals for all of them. Um, as you can see in those screenshots, we have a new chicken, a uh, new dog. For the whitelist feature, is there still going to be the same system of profit sharing when someone sells their crops? Yes. Right now, um, we have no plans to edit that. We do have future plans to completely change the way we do whitelisting and player interaction. But unfortunately, it's not in the scope of these revamps. I, I know a lot of people do want us to rework that, and we want to as well. It's just not in the scope of this uh, revamp. Do you think you will remodel any of like the stores or models in the game? Uh, not not pertaining to a player's farm, like I guess, like the map design. Yes. So, uh, as mentioned, we're going to be switching to a smooth terrain map, and with that, all of our buildings are going to be remade. Um, so, farm co's, uh, the vehicle store, animal co, the lumber store, all that is going to be redone. But yeah, none of the player buildings are going to be redone. Maybe in the future. I mean, I'm I'm pretty content with how the player buildings look. I mean, the especially the newer models are just very yeah. well built. So in the image with the two tractors and the crops and barn, do you imagine that the terrain, including the trees, will look somewhat similar to what's released in the revamp? Uh, yeah, so it's going to look very similar. Um, obviously, we're still going to need your plots, which are very large, to be on flat ground. But in between and around all the plots will have this hilly look um, with rocks and the trees and stuff. But yes, it will look very similar. And the trees that you're going to be planting on your farm and everything and the trees that you can build um, through the build menu will all be updated to look similar like that. So, yeah, you will be able to create something that looks a lot like this. Thanks for answering all of that. I'll go ahead and let you continue. Uh, yeah, as mentioned before, we're working on UI at the moment. Uh, it's going really well, and we think the update will bring huge improvements to the game. Uh, it's taking a bit longer than we hoped due to various backend changes that needed to be made. Uh, but again, it's worth taking the time now rather than later. So hopefully we never have these growing pains again. Uh, we will be posting some teasers on Twitter in the coming weeks so fans can see even more than what you show in the video. Uh, I also want to briefly mention, we know there's a fairly major bug causing some players to lose their animals. Uh, we have identified the problem and are putting out a fix tonight, actually. Um, it was quite a rare case and was really hard for us to replicate, but we have found it and hopefully it will fix those issues. But we are still watching closely for more reports uh, on that just in case. And another thing I wanted to touch on, uh, a lot of people seem to think that Dun Games only has one team and we work on updates for only one game at a time. I see a ton of comments about how we should be working on Farmer Friends instead of Powers. Uh, I want to clarify, we have two completely separate teams working on both games. Powers team is actually smaller. The Farmer Friends team is working all the time on update. They just take longer due to the scale of the game and, of course, the revamps that we've decided to take on. Do you have any plans to revamp the building system? We're going to completely revamp that at another date. I think I mentioned earlier in, in the interview that um, we do want to do building at some point. We want to completely revamp the way it works. Um, I'm not completely happy with it. Um, it was something that was just like everything else in this game. Uh, it's It was good enough whenever we were just starting out and we had small player accounts and all that stuff. It was good enough to get people building and having a good time, but it's time for an update on almost every single aspect of the game. Um, whenever we do get around to it, you could expect a lot of changes to that and a lot of quality of life changes to how the building actually works. Um, but for the time being, it's going to stay the same. In the future stores, um, after the revamp, do you think they will have bigger countertops? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's something I'm probably going to uh, make sure we have for this update. The UI one. I know there's like a lot of difficulty of like fitting all the boxes on the countertop and sometimes them falling off. Yeah, I'll make sure to go expand the countertops right after this meeting. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. When players are buying seeds in stores, will the boxes still have the same, I guess, capacity? Yeah, they'll be 50 seeds. Um, as you can see in that video, uh, the box stacking, we do plan to allow you to hold two so it'd be a little bit better but once we get back to normal updates and we're no longer working on these major revamps 
We plan to work on a pretty big update um, that has a lot of requested features. I won't give too much away, but we do plan to have a forklift um, buying pallets of seeds um, for our higher level players and probably um, a bunch of those whitelist and player interaction upgrades that we kind of mentioned a little while ago. Wow. Everything you've mentioned in this interview, is it still subject to change, just to clarify for viewers? Yeah, so of course, everything is always subject to change. Um, I would say our roadmaps are pretty set in stone. We may, depending on how our timeline fits, do a Christmas update instead of the uh, forklifts and whitelisting changes update. Is there going to be some sort of other end game besides potatoes in the future? Yeah, I think I've mentioned this in some posts and just briefly talking to some people in Discord. Um, while I don't have any specific plans that I can share, um, we don't want the game to be so what you would call vertical, uh, right? Where you just find the best thing to do and do that over and over again uh, and like kind of level your way upwards uh, we want the game to be very horizontal we want a ton of aspects of the game um, my vision of late game will end up being more factories uh, more products that you sell that have a bunch of ingredients right and whenever i say this there's no set plans or update um that we're definitely going to work on for this anytime soon but you know i want all kinds of things uh, like bees. Uh, I want you to be able to combine things with honey and sell those. Um, I want all kinds of things to do with lumber. Um, basically, I don't want to just keep adding higher level crops that make more money. And I don't want to just keep adding higher level vehicles. Um, it gets old in my opinion. And I want there to be a lot of depth into the gameplay. And I want you to be working on multiple things to get the highest uh, amount of profit. Do you see any changes being made to tree chopping efficiency in the game? Because right now it takes a long time to chop and sell trees compared to growing potatoes. Yeah, that's a, um, we plan to completely revamp our tree system in the future. Unfortunately, we do not have any concrete plans on when we're doing that right this minute, um, but we are not happy with it. Um, in its current form. We want it to be a slower process than uh, crops, but we're gonna need to work really hard to balance it. Um, but it's not something we're gonna touch just yet, but we do have plans for that yet. Do you have a timeline for these revamps? I expect us to be completely done with revamps before, uh, with enough time to work on a Christmas event. Um, so we're hoping for October-ish, um, of this year to be done with revamps. Um, you know, it might end up taking longer just because there's so many, there's, the code base is so large. Um, there's so many things that could go wrong. Um, the sooner we get these revamps done, um, like I said, uh, our focus with the, like the new player experience and the visual stuff, um, it's going to be way easier for us to get new players and have them actually staying because they're having a good time and all that stuff. It's going to allow us to make more money which will in turn expand our uh, team so um the sooner we can get these revamps done and everything and get back to normal um the sooner we can see pro possibly expansions in our team um and way bigger updates mm, quicker so that is it for the interview thank you g done too for joining me all right buddy uh thanks again for having me if you would like to play this game, a link to it will be in the description below. We are also on the road to 100,000 subscribers and I'm trying to reach it before the end of the year. So maybe consider subscribing if you want more farming and friends content. But thank you again for watching. Thanks to G Done 2 and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.